welcome back to Columbus, Ohio. This is Rachel Miller with Color Splash. I forgot to grab a couple, couple paper towels. So before I pack up shop, I wanted to do one more quick black hole blowout. And I'm still going to continue to use my less aggressive pearl mix. What a pearl mix means is that there is both acrylic and satin enamel mixed with Floetrol in my base. But instead of using like a one-to-one -one ratio with the satin enamel and acrylic, I'm using a five to three ratio, which means that my pearl reaction won't be so aggressive. Now, the reason I was doing this is because I was painting on regular canvases and canvases especially will continue to develop as they dry. Whereas now I'm using a bisque tile and the beautiful thing about using these unfinished tiles is that pretty much what you see when you're done is what you're going to end up with. But nonetheless, I was so happy with the way my last piece came out on canvas. I thought, well, I better do this on tile because it was just so beautiful. So what I did was I created a little flower out of my whoopsie daisies that was awesome out of my um, Payne's gray by Arteza this is the world's worst flower of all time I win the medal holy cow okay clearly I'm gonna have to stop painting when I'm done <laughs> because I am seriously running afoul right now Anyway, I'm starting with this Payne's Gray, and then I'm just gonna build kind of the same colors that I had before, but I'm eager to see how it turns out on this tile instead. So here's the world's most pathetic little flower, but it's not gonna matter once I start using the blow dryer. So over that, I came in with my Titanium Buff, and I will say it in every video, when you're making a painting working with gosh, pearls, this may be the single most important color you use because it really um, builds dimension into the pearls. Guys, bear with me. I, I know I disclosed in a previous video that I suffer from an illness known as RSD or CRPS, depending on how old you were when you were diagnosed. And um, what that basically means is my brain is getting inundated with false pain signals. And sometimes they get to be so, there get to be so many of them that I start having trouble <laughs> talking because my brain is being flooded with electrical signals. So bear with me, I apologize. My RSD is acting up right now and not wanting to cooperate with me. So if I sound a little silly, that's why, and I apologize. So next I'm coming in with a color called um, Primary Magenta by Amsterdam. And this can be a pretty overpowering color, so I'm going to try to take it reasonably easy with this one. Oh, my stomach just growled so loudly. I feel like you guys might have heard that. I guess I need to break for lunch anyway. Let's see. This is Permanent Red Violet, also by... Amsterdam. Really pretty color. Also another color that can and will take over in a painting if given the opportunity. But I'm going to layer some dark colors over top of this so I do want them to poke through. Next I'm coming in with what's called Persian Rose by Amsterdam. Really pretty color. Just a soft, lovely, kind of powder pink color.
kind of the quintessential powder pink color, I think. Okay, and now I think, what did I come in with next? Oh, I remember. I used my Iridescent Copper by Pebio. I hope I have enough of this left. This is definitely one of my all-time favorites. Oh, I forgot my transparent red. That's okay, I'll get it. Okay. Forgot my transparent red. That should have gone underneath, but that's okay. We'll put it right here. Transparent Red is also by Amsterdam, and it is exactly what it sounds like, a very transparent red color, so this one will not take over the way um, other red colors will. It's basically a very safe way to add red to a piece without it being your primary color. Okay. Then I think I'm going to come back in with just a little bit more of my permanent red violet. I better work fast. My colors are running. So next I'm going to come in with a little bit more of my um, Payne's Gray. Especially here where it's rolling off. And then I'm going to come in with a little bit of here. Let me try and tilt this. But first, I'm going to spin it this way. I think I've just got a very unlevel surface. Here we go. Much better for the moment. I'm going to use a little bit of turquoise green by Amsterdam. And I'm kind of intentionally touching it right over top of the Payne's Gray. And then I'm going to come in with a little bit of Brilliant Blue by Amsterdam. And then I'm going to come in with a little bit of this custom soft gray color, which is simply my neutral gray mixed with some Artist Loft white. Just to help build a little more, um, build on those pearl cells a little bit more. Now, lastly, I'm gonna add a little bit of Arteza Silver. And I think I might actually bring in a little bit more of my magenta color, just a teensy little twinge of it. and a little bit more of the titanium buff. I'm trying to work really fast. My flower is running all askew. So I'm gonna put down my cell activator, which is just Amsterdam lamp black mixed with Australian Floetrol. And I sort of just mix it to consistency. And I kind of like the consistency of baby oil or grapeseed oil, sort of somewhere in there. I'd say it's somewhere between three or four to one for most Australian Floetrol. Every once in a while I get a batch that is much more runny than normal. And on those batches, my ratios change totally. This is so running askew. Jeez, what is going on? Oh, 
Okay, so I'm gonna quickly gra grab my blow dryer and on the low cool setting, I'm gonna blow this out. Oh, I've got it on the high setting, holy moly. I had not started on the high setting like that. Holy cow. That was a total accident. Again, my brain is on overload right now. I'm just not thinking straight. So to me, this looks fantastic. To you guys, you might be saying, oh my gosh, look at all that black. Do not worry. That black is going to go away. And I'm about to show you how. Look at all the beautiful pearl cells already forming though. What I'm gonna do is take a skewer and a paper towel, no silicone, no anything, and I'm just going to dip it into my cell activator pool and gently scratch just a teensy bit at the bottom of the tile. And all I'm simply doing is providing a passage through which the paint that's hiding underneath that cell activator can come up through it and sort of show itself. That's all I'm doing. I'm not adding anything, no extra chemicals. I'm just simply breaking the surface tension which is allowing these little cells to pop forward. And oh my gosh, they're really beautiful too. And I am gonna fill in as much of this blue, black area as I can with these little pearl cells. And holy cow, the pearl cells I'm getting are chock full of color. They're not white, they're beautiful. Sometimes they're a little slow to pop up, so you got to give them a chance to show themselves. After about 20 seconds, if you haven't seen a little dot pop up where the paint is starting to rise, then it's safe to say that your pearl cell didn't take and you can go again. But you definitely want to give it a little bit, whoops, of time. That guy just burst through the surface. See how I'm closing in this area? Sometimes I work in a circle, but today I'm kind of working all over the place. Just filling in this black area as much as I can with pearl cells. And my goodness, are they gorgeous pearl cells. I cannot wait to show you what these look like. Wow, this is gorgeous. And I'm really happy to see this happening despite the fact that I'm using a much weaker ratio in my pearl mix than I normally use. I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna get but I'm excited to see that I'm getting the reaction I'm wanting. I 
think I'm going to leave it like this. I really like the way this looks. I'm really pleased with it. The colors are super cool. I'm just going to quickly scrape the edges. I got some really interesting color combinations. The silver really reacted in a very cool way. I got silver lacing. I've got silver pearl cells that are crazy cool to look at. Let me bring you guys in for a closer look. Wow, is this beautiful or is this beautiful? Let me bring you guys down. See, these are all the pearl cells that I made all of those purplish ones and look at those silver ones with the blue how cool are those i mean these are some of the most uniquely colored pearl cells i've done in a while i am really excited about them then i got some really cool silver cells here and as you can see right where is my skewer this is what I mean by adding the gray for, for dimension. That's what this does, as does the um, titanium buff. Those colors really work to create, help create these little halos inside the pearl cells. And I think that's super important. But it's really apparent in some of these cells, like this guy, and this guy. This, oh my goodness, especially in here, you can see the layers of gray and titanium buff. Wow, what a really cool, spacey looking tile this is. I really love it. Well, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did today. I did so many fun pieces. Let me take you in and show you how these others are drying. So as you can see, the black hole is completely filled in. The pearl reaction is continuing to occur. So it didn't, it slowed down, but not quite as much as I wanted. And this one, it actually um, is, the color is holding up much better. So I think tomorrow I'm going to try an even more um, pared down pearl mix to see if I can slow this reaction even more. But if it were to, to dry just like this, I'd be real happy. It almost looks like um, it's almost a cross. It's very cool. I'm really happy with this right now. So we'll see how it looks in a few more hours. Hopefully it'll look much like it does now. But this guy, on the other hand, I know will look exactly like this in a few hours because this is being, this is done on a tile. And tiles really hold quite beautifully. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And I don't mind these white corners. Ooh, it looks like I scraped my corner. My goodness. I better get a little bit of white paint on there. There we go. Just sort of soften that corner up. There we go. So beautiful. Well, thank you so very much for joining me this afternoon. I've had such a good time. I hope you guys have too. If you enjoyed my video, please remember to press like and subscribe. It means so much to me. Anyway, I hope you're having a fabulous day. Happy painting, y'all. See you next time. Bye.